press conference yesterday on the county manager's review of what has been called the super stop at Walter Reed on Columbia Pike. Uh, we uh, put that project on hold after we had the first one built. First one cost close to a million. Uh, and the next one will not cost anywhere near that. So we heard everybody. We developed a better design, substantially reduced costs. We'll take over the management from Metro, and we'll continue to leverage other funds to build the next 23 of these stations. I want to give you the backdrop of this. These are in place because this is the most heavily traveled bus route in the Commonwealth of Virginia. Now, about 17,000 riders a day. In the next 20, 30 years, you'll see that edge up into the 30s and exceed 40,000 riders a day. That is a significant number of people to move. And the vision for Columbia Pike requires that you have a transit system in place to be able to move that many people. This is the continuum on the left. Everyone says, well, that's a lot for a bus stop. Well, a bus stop is about 40 people a day. A sheltered bus stop is, you know, maybe up to 100. These are what we call transit stations, 250 to 1,000 people at that stop a day. That's a very different animal than one of your small shelters with seating for two. So this is 250 to 1,000 people at these stations all along Columbia Pike. Next. I think a couple more slides, that's it. And the price has gone from uh, three, uh, close to a million down to 469,361 for the construction, the canopy, the structure, the foundation, the technology. Half of the cost is <laughs> underground, on ground and underneath with the technology and the electrical utility relocation, all of that. Uh, and then some costs for site design, designing to that specific site. The new design will be modular so that it's easily expandable and contractible just depending on, on the site. So is that in, in line? These are some examples of other bus rapid transit, Eugene, Oregon, about the same price. These are older prices, so these will be inflated to a higher price now. Bus rapid transit, the stations, same, about the same cost. Hampton Roads light rail, 762 per, per station. 662 for a bus rapid transit, Grand, Grand Rapids, Michigan. Bottom line is when you look at these stations that are meant to carry very large numbers of people and keep them dry and comfortable, this is in the range, if not at the low range, of what we see. And finally, where's the money come from? And this has been one of the biggest misconceptions from day one. Only 6% of the cost is coming from the homeowners, the residential tax base. We have used other sources from the beginning. As you can see, this was when it was the million dollar bus stop, and now it is the uh, much less costly transit station 52% federal dollars, 14% from the state, 28% from that commercial real estate surcharge that can only be used for new transportation projects. So that green, that uh, little thin strip of green, that's what's coming from local homeowners. It's 6%. And finally, in the end, to summarize, we cut the cost significantly. It's a better, more comfortable design, better to keep people dry, and we own that. That original design by committee was not functional like it should have been. We've taken over the project management, we learned from it, and we are continuing to leverage other money to make this thing work for the future and the moving of people along Columbia Pike. Okay, I thought it was important that you all hear that. This is about six slides that the manager presented out of about 25 or 30 at a press conference yesterday. Please read the Post article today. I thought it was a pretty fair summary. I'm sure some people will still not be happy, but we are where we ended up. Um,